Good morning, afternoon, evening, guys. You're locked into Alkalize to Realize in conjunction with Conscious Minds TV. And I'm back again with my brother, Rosen, also known to some of you as Jay. Uh, we initially uh, did a first part uh, to this video, but due to some technical issues, we had to carry on where we left off from. Uh, for any of you watching, if you've seen the part before, we just touched up on um, a bit of background on Jay and he spoke about being a choreographer and we spoke a bit about uh, some hip hop lyrics and how there's a lot of hidden symbology in there. And then I also asked Jay to talk about why astrology was important. And he mentioned that he was a Taurus, which is ruled by Venus. And he was expounding upon Venus and a it being about a cataclysm and stuff like that so we're just going to carry on with that and then I want to talk a bit more about um, uh, Jay being a chore choreographer and a dancer and then we're going to touch up on some other subjects some occult knowledge and some symbolism and we're just going to we're just going to kind of go with the flow and just keep it moving how you how you doing brother man thank you that was a great intro man I'm great uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to all of those who are working on themselves, to all the open-minded people. Yep. Being open-minded is the truth. Dealing with your trauma first is the truth. Your domestic life, not just the astrology, your yep. domestic, right? Like your past is your future. So uh, for me, I would say uh, there's a lot of studying right now about the mud flood and Tartaria, it's a big deal. So this is great. It's a good time yeah. to talk about Venus. Right. Well, if you look at the 15th century, your Mayans and Druids, Asians, uh, East Indians noticed some strange behavior in the sky. Right. And they had different names for it. They did not speak literally. They spoke creatively. They spoke as our father who art, art in heaven. We are all artists. Your art, the word art is rat. The word stars is rats. Your rat is sacred. <laughs> so we have to just play with our words and simplify the complexity of what is known to be astrology or astronomy. So Venus in the 15th century, according to your Mayans and your ancestors, created what is called Lucifer's fire. And she was known as a comet or a comma that you have in your grammar. So your comma is what symbol? It's a sickle, right? It's that Saturn scythe, the sickle. It's a little moon crescent symbol, like your lunate moon bone is a crescent comma, comet, karma of a chameleon, right? Boy George, right? This is all, right, using the forces of Lucifer. So her first journey, in my understanding, was very disruptive. Well, it's like you and me growing as a baby, right? We start off clumsy. We start, I always teach this. We start off drooling on ourselves. We don't speak a language at all. Arabic, English, um, Hebrew. We don't know what that is as a baby. We want the milk from our mother's nipple. We did not have to work hard to eat. We were not hunter and gatherers. We did not have to hunt. We're all kings. And your mama gave you your kingly nipple and gave you natural food. And isn't it funny, um, Mehmet, how today with the alpha thing, right? We're all hunting and trying to kill animals to get protein when you never had to. All you have is a liquid diet. <laughs> yeah man definitely that's another subject that i want to touch up on yes later as we like delve deeper into the conversation about the current rise of veganism and eating more of a plant-based diet and stuff like that but it's interesting you mentioned the mayans and venus because i actually have a book called the maya cosmogenesis and it mm. talks about like all the like pyramids and all the sacred sites in South America. And it's funny you mentioned Venus, actually, because I was reading in that book that they built um, a temple in honor of Venus. And because of Venus's orbit is 225 days, they built 225, like not windows, but mm -hmm. little blocks in this place in... Um, in Central America and so it's so interesting that you mentioned that because soon as you mentioned the Mayans that's what comes to my mind well 225 gives you nine yep very important that people who are new to numerology and the tarot you must get into patterns nine 
in the Kabbalah of Judaism or Jupiter or Judas Priest, the rock group that do stuff like this. <laughs> Nine is the Yasad. It's the sexual organ of Scorpio that rules the sexual organs. Mars, right? Your member is the night sphere in the Kabbalah. Yasad is Yeshua, yesterday, or the Savior. The lightsaber, good build here. Why is it the Savior? What is it saving you from? It means we have things that we're um, having to deal with, demons. Nature will challenge you, poison ivy. Never mind the government, you know, and your mommy and daddy issues. Nature has some things for you that if you go there, you might get sick and you might get eaten and hurt. Not because she hates you, because she wants you to know. You have to save yourself. Contain <laughs> your yasad. Contain your sexual energy. But we're not taught this. So the number nine also is the number 666. Why celebrities do this. It is a rudra people and a mudra. Don't give it to the Illuminati. It's the third eye, but it can go dark as light. Did you want to expand a bit on something yeah, that I might have said? Definitely, because it's interesting you said about how number nine is the um, male member. Well, if you look at in like terms of gematria, number nine is the eye, which is like the phallic as well. And also, number nine is about being centered. I actually did a little video on this recently in relation to like, because um, in Islam, what they fast in the ninth month of their lunar calendar. Woo! And it, it, it makes sense that you would fast in the ninth month because nine is the highest number. So it's you being at your highest essence. So that's why they fast on the ninth month. Not many, I've just thought of this myself by like researching. And also, if you look at the eye, it's like Polaris, it's like, um, the Axis Mundi with Polaris at the top. So it's about being centered and being at one with yourself. And also the word Ram Adam. Well, Ram is your head, Aries. So it's about being at your head and not being at your lower chakra. So it's, it's about mind over matter. So that's just expounding on the nine, the number nine you was talking about. Push up your lighters, people. They always say, push up your lighter when something hot is said. This man, Mehmet, First of all, I just want to say I'm grateful. Uh, how I met Mehmet was through Santos Bonacci, you know, mentor. And uh, there's a really awesome community of people that I've met that have helped me to go on. So Mehmet has come to my lives. He's been very supportive consistently. What makes us unique in this movement is that we support each other and we talk and we're humble. We don't pick sides and we have fun. So Mind Over Matter is your mom, your mama, your Dura Mater is your mother brain, the mother of the computer, the motherboard. <laughs> yeah. When you said the I, very good one. The Freemasons call it the holy of holies. Holes, I'm gonna put holes in you, gangsters, be careful. I'm gonna Swiss cheese you. So the hole is also the vagina or the Anunnaki, the anus has a triangle symbol, an anal triangle. So I actually, um, a friend of mine asked me, I'll just briefly mention, you have a triangulum constellation. In Aries. Yes, sir. Yeah. With Anu, your anus came from where? And Anlil, right? What's funny, my friends, he said, Jay, you always share about the pyramid and the you know, Illuminati and the triangle. What does it mean? And I said, it's like this. You go to Target, you're a target. It's a circle, though, not a triangle, but it's the symbol of that holy of holies, right? And this is brilliant what your elite are very smart with symbols and logos, and people have to be careful. Every time you go to a Target, a Walmart with the hexagram symbol, right? Whenever you go to places, they can zero in on you. They can put your energies in one place and, and detect and follow you and to monitor your heart rate, what you're shopping, what you want, what you need, what you didn't get, food. Oh, you're sold out of that. Oh my God, now it's Black Friday and I'm going to kill you to get Black Friday is Sabbath. Saturn is black, but they don't know this, right? So your triangle, how does it relate to the Target? When you play pool, Mehmet, watch this. Every ball is an orb or a planet. Yep, Put in a triangle. Just briefly, yep. we'll, we'll expound upon it. Go ahead, brother. Oh, totally. I love it. I use pop culture. I, I call it common sense truth. I want everyone to sort of try to relate to this. So when you play pool, you put it in a triangulum. It orders your bodies. It's putting everything in an order like you go into Target 
It's making a target. Now, when you get a gun, my man, isn't it funny how the target for the gun is a circle and a cross of Jesus, like Public Enemies logo, right? Really? That logo, actually, Mehmet, was what attracted me to that music. Actually, Mehmet, it's the logo means God is what gets us. It's a target. So if I have an anal triangle and they have the triangle for the pools, I, I remove the triangle, one strike and they scatter, what zeroed that in? Your Illuminati understand how to put us in our own shape. Wow. Please go ahead and expand. Yeah, we was, um, me and Jay were talking off camera and we was talking about like the symbolism in games and stuff like this. And I mentioned to him how like, uh, for people who know or people who study about like the basics of electromagnetism and the yin and yang, uh, for those that don't know, basically black and white light is what creates the electromagnetic spectrum. So it's interesting that when you're playing pool, you're using the white ball to pot in all the other colors and then the white ball pots in the black at the end. So it has that symbolism of like the yin and yang and them creating the electromagnetic spectrum, which are the other colors of the ball. But like, that's what I mean with games, Jay, I've noticed so many like, like symbolisms, like for example, in soccer, right? You have like, um, you have like the two goals, which are the two poles of the earth. And you have the goalkeeper, which is the gatekeeper, keeps trying to stop the ball from going in the goal. So, do you get what I mean? So yes. I've noticed oh, yeah. so many of these little things. And the referee is dressed in black, which symbolizes he is Saturn, the discipliner. And obviously in football, I've noticed there's, there's 22 players, 11 on each side. So that's like the Boas and Jack in 11. And that's the 22 of the tarot cards as well. So I've noticed so many little things, but it's just, I've never really spoke about it, this to anyone because like how can I say only people like you and Santos and a very might like few people can kind of grasp this knowledge so it's interesting like and also the 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 box in football is the 18 it's an 18 yard box and then I remembered Santos talking about the 18 yard stick in your body and something to do with your upper body so there's so many things in games, it's unreal. Like the symbolism in games is just... Uh, well, yeah, cool. let's... Before I, I kind of go back with the cataclysm and why it's important to know that and how it created the mud flood of Tartaria. First of all, Tartaria is Taurus. Yep. And it's two T's, Tartartiti, Tatas, Torah and Talmud, the devil and the angel, right? So you have a red bull and a blue bull. Why is it important to know the difference? Well, if you get your lighter and you put it, you see a little line coming up there. And so, you see that little circle there? Yep. A little dot of Aldebaran, the eye of Tor. Right. What's that line? You walk the line, Johnny Cash. Okay. Jesus Christ and Jim Carrey, Julius Caesar people. Venus created a flood when she basically attacked all of the earth and dropped minerals. The Kaaba of Mecca apparently is hiding her stone. It's green inside. I know someone who went there from Lebanon who told me, yeah, hey, Jay, guess what's inside? I said, I bet it's emerald green. She goes, it is for Venus. Of course it is. You it's have the mold of... Yeah. Um, is, Islam is Isis and the land, basically. So, yeah. Beautiful. Makes sense. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. Well said. Please don't apologize. You have the Moldavite crystal in um, Bavaria. Um, they saw this. Adam Weishap, who founded your Illuminati, was not a dummy. He used the minerals. He used the truth. But he had to know about the cataclysm. Now, the meteorite, is known as Moldavite, hit Germany. So you got Germany. You got the Mecca thing, right? What's going on with people seeing stones falling from the sky? There's a really good book called Emmanuel Belikovsky's Worlds in Collision. Everyone get that PDF. Now, this is a ball earther. It's okay. He's giving you information about Hebrews and the uh, East Indians and Druids that will blow your mind. So just kind of ignore the earth stuff. But he has a lot of good information about a stone falling from the sky. And it was raining blood, as your Navajo said. It was raining gasoline, as your Sumerian said. 
What does that mean? So that means that we're having amnesia today, Mehmet. When the flood happened, all the understandings of astrology, they lost it, wiped out, and we got recharged. Now, here's my question about the human being. I wonder if we always had phosphorus, Mehmet, in our body. Because before Venus, Mehmet, there were only, uh, what was it, four major gods. It was like Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and um, Mars were the four major gods worshipped. Not Venus. When she came now, boom, all of a sudden, as Lucifer, everything kind of changed. So I'm wondering before Venus, which in etymology, your phosphorus means the morning star. It's in your urine therapy. Why you wait nine months to drink it? Like I had a friend tell me, Rosalind, I have my age urine for nine, of course, is the number of God in your yasad. So my theory is this. Do we always have phosphorus? And when Venus came, did she give us this? light within our urine because lucifer means venus and morning star like your phosphor you see where i'm going here so yeah. there's something about urine therapy today that's important that we need to wake up because we have amnesia but she knew that you all were going to get that and she gave you a gift but your elite your illuminati your adam weishat people your freemasons don't want you to know your secrets because then guess what then the movie's over there's no need for stars and medicaid and you know ego so but quickly, because I'm kind of dancing here. No, it's fine. With football, the number 11 is important because you have an element called rubidium, ruby, red. It means it's 29 for 11. will blow your mind, and you'll have a lot to add to this. The number 11 in Freemasonry, guess what it pertains to? Judah. Because out of the 12, the Judas decided, we don't like this teaching. We're going to leave you with 11, and we're going to go our own Judaism way. The Jewish people, <laughs> interesting, the number 11 is also two for the high priestess, your Hewitt Packard computer, your pH balance in your urine, woo! And that's Libra and Venus, darn it. Wow, so that's an important number to know because 29 is 11, and that's your element of your periodic table. If you want to dance with anything I said, brother, please. Yep, yeah, it's interesting. Obviously, you said like a Venus in Libra. Well. Also, in another show I did with a, with a good friend of mine called Eric Shellikens, we spoke about like um, the 7-Eleven symbology and L even, or L is also known as Saturn and even is the Libra point. So L even also corresponds with Saturn exulting in Libra as well. So I don't know if he was aware of that because we was talking about like the pyramids the structure is like um, it's seven by eleven, so and we was expounding upon that in the show. But yeah, I've got Venus in Libra actually in my chart. Wow. Yeah. Big power, because yeah. we need people that have good judgment today. A lot of bad judgment will blow your damn mind. Bad judgment is jacking and Boaz. But also, you know, you was talking about like before. Um, before before Venus, um, we only like pr worship the four gods. Well, obviously, we know that Venus is Eve, so that might have some symbology of like Eve biting the apple. Is is there anything there? I don't know. I'm asking you. Wow. First of all, bless you, and thank you for your wisdom. Yes. Uh, I didn't think about that. Sure. Uh, what, what it could be is this. So if, if basically we weren't really dealing with a fifth element, what happens in the Bible with this apple? It's an element. It's something added in. Added? Adam. <laughs> Add? Perfect. Subtract. So clearly I feel what's happening with the orbs, your stars today, they're trying to figure themselves out still. It's not done. Like mythology is still inconclusive. Like they have kind of endings, but you know how it's always weird? Like the Mahabharata, the good family end up in hell and the evil family end up in heaven. You're like, why are the Pandavas, the good family in hell? And why are the Karuvas who are horrible end up in heaven? Because your Pandavas cheated in order to win. They had to humble themselves. It's so crazy. Even in them having to fight the demon, they had to learn that they still were going to mess up. Even though they were right in doing so, they were still kind of wrong. Woo! Wow. 
So Venus, I would believe, is the apple. That fifth element is the apple to the garden of those other four elements that needed a female. It was too much male energy. We know Mercury is kind of transgender, hermaphrodite, yep. but it was very manly before Venus. A lot of uh, the hunter-gatherer thing. We were missing something. I believe that, have you seen the video, the, what is it, Ancient Symbols of an Alien Sky? Santos had recommended that a while oh, ago. Oh, you told me to watch that. I haven't had a chance Check to Check it out, dude. It's a good one. It's about Saturn being the, the, the original sun in the sky. It wasn't always yeah. like that. So I do the math. Okay. So if Saturn ruled for a while, it was not, it was a black light. Had yep. to be. And they had to use their blind third eye Libra. Ah, but then Venus came out of nowhere and she literally made you <laughs> eat the apple of light and orgasms and ego. And now you're, you've got a head now with a brain, you phosphorus. It's good and bad, though, because if you don't know those things, Mehmet, they can be used against you, clearly. And today, what do you have? High diabetes, mental health issues, data, science, NASA only, Photoshop, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's interesting what you said about um, the darkness, because uh, I remember watching one of Santos's videos, and he was saying about how you see, like, the first half of the zodiac, well, Aries starts with Mars and then Taurus starts with Venus. And he said that's Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And then when it comes to Libra, it switches round. So you've got Venus starting at Libra and then um, Mars in Scorpio. And that's like when they get kicked out of the garden and they go ah. into the darkness. So that's... I have another uh, so interpretation of, of Eve. And I don't believe she was kicked out. There's, I'm going to rethink that. I'll tell you why I'm saying this. You have three versions of the moon. Hakate, Circe, and Lilith. Yep. Lilith is one phase of the moon. She's the one that got kicked out. I don't believe what happened. Lilith represents death. Yep. Women, it's not evil. It's not bad. Women are a symbol because the womb is a tomb. And then the, the man is the fire and the woman the water. So not one is better than the other. So uh, if, you, if you see that Lilith is a moon symbol of death, it's that means... cross on it, hasn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Wonderful. It's also um, in Miami, there's a sport. I forget the darn name. You might know the sport. They use a big uh, crescent um, glove, and they throw this ball, and they catch it with one arm. It's a big moon symbol. Baseball. I forget the name. Say again? Not baseball, is it? Not baseball. It's a, I think it came before. It's kind of like, kind of like cricket. They dress up a bit like that. They have a big um, mitt. Anyhow, I don't know the name of it, but it's big in Miami. And um, that's, the, that's the symbol of Lilith. So basically when she was, why she left the garden? The garden is about light and growing and life. She needed to remove herself to become death, to become a demon, to show you the other side of your story so a man didn't kick her out she's like boo boo it's, it's that time of the month <laughs> i got to go time of the yeah, month yeah, is yeah. tom 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 atum <laughs> yeah it's so interesting like that all these stories and all these mythologies are just they're just like they're just stories about creation and about science and about the world of polarity and how it all works and oh, like, there's just so many things that I've clocked. Like, I was thinking the other day about like the signs in relation to like which numbers they are. So like, for example, the fire sign is known to be about spirit and mysticism and about relating to God. And if you look at the three numbers of like the Zodiac, so for example, you've got Aries is number one, which is the start. Leo is number five, which is the middle. And then mm. Sagittarius is number nine, which is the end. So you've got mm. beginning, middle, and end. So mm. when you look at the signs of the zodiac and which numbers they correspond with, it makes a lot of sense. Mm. I don't know if you was aware of that or you noticed that before. No, I didn't. And that's why I need friends like you who do research in other realms that can help add to what I'm doing because I'm nothing without my team. Great, thank Likewise. you for that. I wanted to say the sport I was talking about is called J-A-L-A-I, J-A-I-A-L-A-I. It's a sport with a, a crescent moon, Google it. 
It's showing you what they're, what, how things work and how the balls get thrown around with magnetic force sucked in. We're using stars and astrology with our pop culture, like what you just said about the nine. So after Sag would be the 10th one, which is, I believe, um, Capricorn? Capricorn. Capricorn. So that's your 10th. Yeah, Capricorn is your 10 spheres of your Kabbalah. Yeah. Here we have finished the tree of life. The Kabbalah means a tree. Your cortex in your brain, people, and etymology means a tree. Yidrasil of Ireland, they gave you the tarot of astrology. It means a tree. How many, there's a tree of hell in the Quran called, uh, I can't pronounce it. Um, it sounds kind of like um, a medication term. All the medication terms, like, uh, you know, well, lithium we know is already in your body, salt. Prozac, <laughs> NyQuil, Neptune. Naba, yeah, they use your uh, your truth. So yeah, it's important that we get hip to our uh, our terms and etymology. It's interesting you mentioned the number ten and Capricorn, because in the UK, well, the well Capricorn is about like the secular um, area of life and your public life and politics. Well, in the UK, the Prime Minister lives at number ten. Yes. Downing Street, and his door is a black door, which is ruled by Saturn. So, <laughs> again, like, it's just, this is what I love about syncretism. Once you know the like basic archetype, you can just see it everywhere. It's just, it's like today, I was on my way to work um, in London. I work in central London, and I was walking past like a big building and I've been walking past this building and you can obviously tell it has a lot of Masonic symbology. It's got like the Rosicrucian cross and stuff outside it. And then I walked past it and it said the Freemason Museum, free entry. I, d I haven't gone in there, but it was just like, I need to go in there and have a look at it one day because I'm just so fascinated by the amount of symbolism I see everywhere, like for the other day, for, for example, I was walking past the church and they had this glass window and it was just split into like segments like a pie. And it was just the 12 zodiac signs. It was just of course. Split into 12. But that's what I'm saying. But people will just walk past that and yeah, just be oblivious to it. Do you get what I mean? And it's... It's People funny. have to know their symbols. Uh, you know what's funny? You mentioned Ireland as well just a minute ago. Mm. Well, I saw a post on Facebook about how they um, got a place in Ireland, like a mountainy place, and they've put like Photoshop on it and pretended it was Mars. Really? And then I thought of Ireland, and then I thought of the word fire which mm. is to do with Mars. And then mm. obviously the Jamaicans say, I'm feeling iry, I-R-E, when they're smoking. So like, I was like, wow, like, it's just like, that's what I'm saying. When you clock exactly. Wonderful, like, wonderful, Mehmet. Yeah, you're, one of the rare, you're one of the rare people that I can talk to because I have a lot of quick wisdom yeah. Uh, that I can really just, yeah. But once you're synced, you can get it all. That tree, by the way, in the Quran, I always look up my own work. It's called Zakum. Yeah. Z-A-Q-Q-U-M. That's Zantax, yeah. the medication. Zakum. Vacuum. Cum laude. Central London is cum laude. C-L, Central London. You have a locus. Coruleus in your brain, people. Came from you. Yes, yeah, C-L is 33. In numerology, for your Freemasons who named all your 50 states, named all your places of England, they went to Egypt and worked with Saladin, the Arabic uh, terrorist, so-called, who was ruling Jerusalem. Isn't it funny how your Templars went out there and they said, hey, we want that. You shouldn't have that. That's not your right. So whether or not Saladin salad person, the tossing salad, right. Whether or not he was evil or bad, listen, that's not your business. You know that's how Americans go out in military? None of your business, and here we are. We don't know shit about the past, <laughs> and we take it. And then Saladin sold out and worked with the Templars. So your Arabic people, brown-skinned people, sold out too because of magic, because of this truth is very deep. 
Yeah, man, definitely. You know what? What's funny you say about the Templars, bro? I was watching um, an interview with a guy called John Phelps, and he was talking about how, like, um, the Vatican started Islam and how it came through uh, the Vatican and they used it to, like, uh, divert, like, uh, to create a lot of rift between, like, Christianity and Islam and whatnot. And uh, he was explain. Oh, I forgot what I was where I was going. What was we just talking about? Sorry, I've lost my train of thought. No, you're okay. I'm talking about Freemasons going to. Uh, oh, that's Egypt. right. Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about that, like apparently, once you get to like a certain degree of Freemasonry, like the books change. So first, like it might be the Bible, and then after a certain degree, it's like the Torah. And then at the end, it's the Quran, apparently. But hmm. I don't know if you're aware of this or if you've ever heard about this. Yes, uh, I, I am fully aware. Uh, there's certain levels to becoming what is called Scottish Rite yep. and York Rite. Well, Jay, what is this Scottish and York Rite? I, ah, ah, well, you, people have to get hip to their symbols because York... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's just, it, you know what, I just want to quickly add this. Please, it's, go, absolutely. <laughs> because it corresponds to our Venus chat. Sure. You see, like, Scotland, well, in Turkish, Scotland is Iskotia, I-S. Mm. So that's mm. like ISIS. It could be to yes. do with ISIS, and I don't know. Anyway, oh, that's Wonderful. what I want to add. No, thank you once again, man. I love uh, your wisdom. So... Scottish Rite and York Rite, why is it important to understand these things? Well, first of all, for those who like pop culture and Seinfeld, Kramer of Seinfeld was a Scottish Rite, Shriner, Freemason. Why is that important? What started the KKK? Albert Pike, Scottish Rite. You have some black Freemasons who are Scottish Rite. I've seen them with the damn logo on their car and they were black in South Carolina. Do they know that? They don't know that. They have been taught wrongly, which is interesting because they're given the truth, but no connecting dots. So your Scottish right would be the red people. Your York right of New York are the blue people. Now, what's the symbols for York right? It's a crown with a cross tilted. Because they said the earth, her poles shifted yeah. when Venus, right. That's a metaphor. Earth don't move. She got rattled. She got raped, if you want to call it. Rape is also a green plant that cows and deers eat. So it's interesting. Google the plant rape. I have compassion. We all get raped in certain ways, but you must know your nature. So if you go to your church now, Mehmet, if you see the Scott, the, the York right, the, the cross and the crown, I've seen it in a church with 12 um, symbols around it, like you just said, and the crown. Well, what is Jehovah's Witnesses symbol? It's the, the York right cross. And I've tried telling people in Jehovah this, and you can't go there. Like, ah, but it's different now. You know, Charles Taze Russell, who founded it, was a Freemason. Oh, but it's different. In his pyramid um, um, uh, tombstone, this guy who founded Jehovah, oh, it's Illuminati, but it's different. No, it is not. They're still using the old prototype. They have to. How is it different? It's like, it's like me saying, like, what will change someone's mind, Mehmet? Oh, but it's different. So what if it's you and me, right? And I say, well, I'm into the Illuminati. I like pyramids. Oh, I'm not going to be a friend to you. But, but you just said that for your religion now, it's okay, but now I'm doing all this stuff and you're calling me Illuminati or devil, but you can pray in yeah. your chapel? Yeah. And Scotland comes from Skota, the Egyptian daughter of who? Akhenaten? <laughs> who was your AK-47, the one that told you to build the pyramid? Didn't tell you have pyramids, medulla pyramids in your brain, or your prime minister? You have pyramid kidneys and an anal triangle. That's three triangles that relates to your tarot. There's an actual um, number that relates to your uh, three triangles. If people do their homework, they'll realize someone knows your target. Are we being raped metaphorically? Yes, we are. Your little pool triangle, they're putting a bunch of bodies in there. And now you go what? To the club. They targeted on what? A certain way of rapping. Rap about your, 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 your organs, your money. Yeah, you know, kill somebody or just date someone. Don't worry, just have sex. Party all day. They're targeting you now. 
You have three symbols in your body. You don't know shit, not you and me. Let's go to the Predator movie. Predator movie shows you. Remember the movie? With the infrared, it, the guy, it's a triangle they show, constantly trying to zero in. The, the alien creature is showing you, your own symbol, how they get you. It's interesting. You know, you just said pyramid. I just thought of, like, another word. Again, it just comes to my word. Well, like... Pyra or Pyra alludes to fire or gold or... Pyros, yes. In Tur and, I've, and I've thought of the word Bira, which is how you say beer in Turkish, mm. which is gold as well. So it's B-I-R-A, Bira. That's how you say beer in Turkish. That is awesome. I was actually going to... I was going to pour one for myself right now. That's funny you mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, your beer... Is your beard? Yeah. Your beard is your goat. Goat T. It has five points, y'all. A pentagram. <gasps> the inverted goat of Baphomet, the goat god. It's not all evil. Your your druids knew this. So if I'm growing my goat T, who am I speaking to? Capricorn. Naturally. We're all natural mystics. We don't get it. And then, oh, your beard, you got to trim it, man. Get a haircut. You know, I don't shave my head to be cool. I shave my head to respect the Buddhists. Destroy it and regrow it. Humble yourself and regrow because your trees lose their hair in the winter. And they get it back. How do we honor them? We shave, we shave, we show growth. And that's it. And they can listen to you. They, Thank you, humans. They don't talk like we do. Your tree does not care about who you're hanging out with. Your tree's not going to say, hey, can I borrow that, that jacket? I'm kind of cold. Hey, can I hang out with you in the club? I feel kind of lonely. It's going to be like, no, dumbass. I've been here for 5,000 years, and I'm very happy. <laughs> no, you know what you were just talking about? Again, the pool, the triangle, the pool with mm. all the balls in it. Yes, I was sir. just thinking, do each, does it go like one, three, is it like the fire ratio? Because it starts off with one, yes. then two. Yes. Let and me go see. Keep talking. Go ahead. Keep talking. I'm just thinking, does it go in the fire ratio? Like the amount of balls in each line? I'm going to check what right now. I'm going to go to images. Yeah. yeah good sure. question. Uh, here are the numbers in your pool. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It stops at fifteen for six, that's Venus, and you're a genius, because check this out, what is the, uh, the balls making? A V, dude, they're making a V. It's, it's the V for Vendetta, for Venus. But, but so what, yeah. so do, is it, so the top one's one ball, then it's two balls, and then is it, does it just go up three, four, five? Yeah, yeah it does. Five, so it's not quite the fire ratio, but no, I, that was just something I was thinking of, sorry. It's just me. No, it relates. It, it, it does relate. I mean, it, the, you mean the Fibonacci spiral? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it makes a six, brother. Whose number is six? It's the mark of the breast of the beast. Venus yeah. makes gold. Your urine is gold. Phosphorus means a morning star. Etymology, Lucifer review is Satan, morning star, and Venus. Go ahead. Well, you said uh, six is gold. Well, in Turkish... Altı is six, and altın is gold. So it's the same word. And then you have alkuli. Alkuli means um, a body-eating spirit. Yeah, alcohol? Al yep. Then you have alkaline, and now we can build on diet. And why it's important to go vegan. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Vegans. There are many vegans who have not dealt with their meat-eating years. You were far more asleep than you were awake, so don't go attacking. I've seen them. And I've seen vegans that kill flies and that are atheists. I've seen them and they're confused. Vegan comes from Vega. Vega is a star and Vega is gave. Gay, give. Look at your stars. Yeah, Vega's one of the brightest stars in the... In yes, sir. You can only see her properly with a Nikon P900 camera and debunk NASA or Nahash, Hebrew for serpent of deceit. Yep. Jesuit etymology means deceitful and Jesus... Pope Francis, Jesuit. Donald Trump, Jesuit school, Fordham. Let's go to Lebanon. You have a Notre Dame Jesuit school for your Arabic people who are being forced now to pray like who? Your pedophile people, your colonists. So we already raped them. We already hurt them. Never mind my tax dollars. Your travelers, yeah, went over there and 
put Jesuit schools to be deceitful. So it's important to know these things. Why? Because vegan is Venus. The V. You want to expand upon some things with that now and move there? The word colon. Yes. Right. And this is another thing that I've... See, you know what it is, Jay? For the last year or so, I've not really... Because of my technology situation, I haven't really been able to share a lot of stuff. And I've got so much in my brain. Every time I hear a word, it's just like it reminds me of something I've picked up on. Well, you know, like, for example, if you colonize someone, mm. it basically means you're analyzing them because... In Greek, co colon means your ass, and also your colon is which goes down to your yeah. anus. So, if you're being colonized, you're basically being raped, like you're being sodomized. Yes. Because colon in Greek yes. means your butt, and also your, it's your colon as well. So, yes. And then you have col cologne. We spray cologne, yep. and we have a semi-colon. Yep. And you have Colin Powell of America who helped to bomb Iraq and cause war, a black guy, too. Well, you black people can get it, too. I love my brown skin, but you have a boule society. That's the black version of Skull and Bones, Brotherhood of Death at Yale, and it's Freemasonic. So what does Obama know? He's boule. What did Martin Luther King Jr. know? He was a boule. People have to stop holding on to their heroes. I understand they seemed one way, but you're Jesuit. They're very smart. Why? Because they know that humans are unpredictable and powerful. And if we figure things out, we won't need a system or a Hollywood or a damn friend. We'll need ourselves and nature. They don't want you to want. They want you to want them. The cult of what? Idol tree, Saturn, literalizing everything, bones, flesh, the illusion. Oh, I love this. Well, then you're going to come back here as an animal. You're going to come back, man, if you only... Hold on to your material wealth. Your wealth is how you talk to human beings, your connections with a mamet or a someone else. Yeah. Um, what does alkaline diet mean? That's AD, after the death. Or ACDC is also a frequency in electromagnetic waves. Santo shared a video about a man who's uh, building a machine that's uh, all electromagnetic, right? Just natural from the earth. Right, and he mentioned ACDC frequency. So when they're doing the rock music, they are doing right. They're raping you. You can't see this. It's why it's brilliant. <laughs> they are raping you metaphorically of your energy. And now you're aggressively, you're mosh pitting, or Paul McCartney, or parking meter, or prime minister. You're mosh pitting. You're putting yourself in danger, raping yourself because someone said, let's rock and roll. Whoa, now I'm hungover and I got some friend I didn't know in bed with me and maybe I got an STD or they're pregnant and I'm going to abort it because I'm dumb. You see, you mentioned AC and DC. Well, when I spoke to Brother Stavila Elohim Ra, he brought up, so he mentioned something and like, since he's told me that, it makes so much sense. Well, the DC is direct current and the AC is alternative current. So this is why they have their their like um like the white house is in washington dc which is direct current and we have accounts which is alternative currents because our currents always go in up and down like the side wave, sine wave whereas their one's still so like all these little things that they play on so their one's blue shift and our one's kind of red shift because their one's direct going to the center and our one's alternating, which is like Taurus field turning. Like there, there's so many little like things that they play on and like it's so interesting. And like this goes to do with like when you're voting as well, which what you're really doing is voting because Woo! you're picking either the red side of the battery or the blue side of the battery. So it it just plays on that whole red shift, blue shift. Yeah, I just wanted to expand upon what you said. Thank you for that. So I want to show what a Taurus field is again. So your Taurus field are those little circles coming out of my lighter right now. Okay, and then when I, it's gone, it disappears. 
and then it comes back again as two rings. The Lord of the Ring yep. is your mouth, is your anus, is your Anunnaki. You want to knock boots, sex, you better know what you're doing because you're communicating with a star system or you're disconnecting your voltage. So you're putting your red wire and your blue to start your car. That's what making love is or talking to someone and having a mental orgasm. Oh yeah, Jay, you and I right now, this is all mental, sexual, creative energy. And if we're constantly wasting our energy, Mehmet, you and I would never say hi and we bah, that's an Arab, he's black, he's white. I don't, you voted, your, what, what football team do you, I'm gonna beat you up. They have gangs in England <laughs> that will kill you based on your team. I know because the team I used to follow has one of the worst hooligan uh, yeah. supporters. Yep, yeah, I know how they are. It's, it's so Less ignorant than, yeah. now when I think back at it. It's, it's ridiculous, but. It's I'll never forget going to Romania. So I danced in Bucharest as a dancer, right? I have my master's in fine arts, University of Iowa, being humble. I'm just telling you, I did it as an astrologer, the only one teaching astrology and dance, teaching the five elements of your five major positions in ballet, that earth is the cube or the Kaaba or Teflon in geometry. So I'm in Bucharest years ago, and I bought a hat at a store. It was blue and red. Ironically, I never forget it. It was cold. And someone tells me in the opera house, it says, Jay, you better be careful with that hat. I said, why? He said, because, man, that's the wrong team in Romania. They will beat you up for that hat. And I was like, oh, shit, I better get my stuff together and, you know, figure that out. So I didn't have any problems, but it's interesting how we, with logos, we don't, we walk right by symbols. Those symbols are directly related to our mind control and decisions that we make. And it's powerful. So I suggest people, you need to get organized and get your own logos of God around your house. Where copper elements, those are all logos. You need it because you're getting played with. Jay, in America, who's red and who's blue out of the two parties? Ooh, uh, you know what? I'm not even big. I think, let me go, I'm, I'm right now on a um, page to do that. I think that Republicans are red and Democrats are blue. I'm going to oh. make sure that. Because in, in the UK, the... the the etymology of both parties even corresponds with the red shift and blue shift because the blue party is conservative. Well, blue, blue shifts about conserving yourself and going inwards. So it's more traditional. So it's more about source. Whereas labor in the UK is red party, which is about the red shift labor, hard work and more material. So they, in the parties in the UK, They've even, like, put it in the names, if that makes sense. Dude, you just blew my mind. <laughs> I call this common sense truth. I just looked it up. You know what's funny? You know why Donald Trump likes to wear a red and blue tie? So he's not really sort of loyal to his, yeah. his party? Here's what's funny. When you Google the elephant, <laughs> is it the elephant? Hold on. Yeah. The elephant and the donkey Mehmet are both red and blue together. They're not divided, damn it. I thought one was red and blue. They have both, the head is blue, of course, the high mind, and the legs, the lower chakra, is red from Mars. So yeah. even in politics, Mehmet, they're showing you unity in both sides, but people still pick a blue or red, but the donkey is blue and red, and the elephant is blue and red, and Democrat, Republican. And lastly, etymology. People know your words. Democrat is demon. Demo small rule. Republican is reptilian. Reptilian brain. Etymology. What does this mean? You want to expand? Yeah, wow. That's very interesting. So, like, yeah, so demon. So, did you say the, the Democrats red? Democrats are red. They're both red and blue. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Isn't but that confusing now? It's confusing now because I'm looking at it. If you Google it, they're both red and blue. Yeah. How, how can we not see this? Go ahead. I don't know if you had this chocolate bar in America, but in the UK when I was young, we had a chocolate bar called the Milky Way. Oh, of course. Do you remember the red car and the blue car had a race? All the red wanted to do was stuff his face, but smart eye blue, he took the Milky Way. Do you no, remember? I didn't. Is that a commercial? Yes, yeah, a commercial. The red car and the blue car had a race, all the red wanted to do wow. was off his face and then smart or blue he took the milky way it's even in that advert like wow who's the red one wanted to stuff his face because that's your red chakra 
That's about right. materialism. Right. Up, if you can, it's it's a Milky Way advert. I see it right now. You are a genius. I'm looking. I, said, I, I typed in Milky Way. Blue. There it is. Red car, blue car race. Yep. And there it is. I see a car with teeth and a mouth. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that. You are a genius. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, like, it's weird just thinking about it. I'm getting goosebumps. It's so almost like, you know how you say, like, when I find this stuff, it's almost like, I don't mean to sound thing, but it's almost orgasmic. It's like, oh, wow. Yes. Like, but at the same time, it's so frustrating because it's like, like I said, only like a few people can grasp. Like I can explain it to you, and you will get it straight away. Whereas people would be like, "Huh?" Or like they just they just don't know. And it's just sometimes I get frustrated, but then sometimes I feel honoured that I can pick up these things. So it must mean that I've been given a gift by whoever yes. to look at these things. So. Yeah, we're living in a strange... It's so beautiful at the same time. Oh, it is. We're living in an interesting and strange time. I'll tell you, there are a lot of good people who are confused. Um, for example, where I work, I have some co-workers who are going to University of Iowa for, uh, what is it, geography and science and all this stuff. And so one of my co-workers, his name is Jay, ironically, a young man, he's paying $30,000 a semester, okay? He's had three years already. He's got four more years of school, brother. Wow. To not know his solar plexus is the sun in his stomach or his lunate moon bone in his hand. And whenever I show him an etymology, his face does this. There's no like, oh, wow, I better, if I had a, if I had a suit now, and if I'm my master, and if I'm in a, if I'm in a, a classroom, he's going to be like, oh, wow, you see how it works. So this is the age you're living in. This individual, I told him, I said, how do you feel about NASA and Operation Paperclip? Have you heard of this, the Nazis going in there? He goes, oh yeah, I knew that before I went to school. I said, so how do you feel about NASA? He didn't answer that, we got interrupted. But then the next day he goes, yeah, I wanna work for NASA one day. When he knows they have a controversial Nazi history, he's with his own free will, this is a good person now, he's open, he hears me, but he doesn't really hear me. Isn't that interesting? He He's, he's hearing you, but he's not listening to you, if that makes yes. sense. Yes, yes. And that's what we're dealing with, yeah. with the, the asleep people. They have the, the ability to have a gift like you and I. Like, I'm grateful that I have this brain. I consider it a gift like you. But then you go to your, your neighbor and try to give them electricity. You try to give them your chakras and, and dance. And you can see it's very hard to find your male and female plug. Why is it called a male? <laughs> perfect and you plug it into a female to get your computer to get your body your heart is a man and a woman don't good don't good one and two not one two three four five you would have a heart attack <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro you know it's mad like since i've come into this knowledge it's like i do it at work a lot like for example like to be fair, a couple of the people that I work with, they're really open-minded. I'm not, I'm not saying that like we're on a higher level, but they're not like, they're knowledgeable, but not on our, not on a syncretic level, if that makes sense. And someone was talking about like, our Donald Trump and McDonald. And I said, oh, well, McDonald means the son of Donald and Donald means the ruler of the world. And he's like, oh, and, and he's gone to me. Oh yeah. Like, the Don Corleone. And I said, yeah, exactly. Well, I said, Don is ruler. And I said, Corleone is cor, corazon in, is your heart. And Leone is lion. So that's the lion heart, Leo. Woo! So I was explaining that to him. And he was like, oh, wow. He got, like, it struck a nerve with him. Do you get what I mean? Sometimes with certain people, you can tell them stuff. And then there was a girl in my work. She's a Turkish girl. She told one to me, and I was like, wow, that's a brilliant one. Well, in breakfast, in Turkish, we call breakfast kavaltu. Hmm. And altu is six. And that's when you have your breakfast in the morning at six o'clock. So kavaltu. Hmm. So also, altu, I told you, means gold. And, hmm. so, and that's when the sun comes up as well. Hmm. So like... Hmm. 
there's so many things like knowing languages is the best way to like knowing a few different languages trust me jay i make so many different syncretisms because my parents are from cyprus which back in the day it was mixed with greek and turkish so my parents spoke but both so in my household growing up i've spoke english turkish and greek so i've had the um privilege of knowing a few different languages and and connecting like stuff there's so many i wrote them all down actually like i did a thing where i wrote down all the names of the days in different i just picked five random languages nice and it all connected i'll just go through one just to let you know basically obviously we know tuesday is mars right yeah well in hindu in like the in india it's called mangalaya mm but in turkish it's called salu which is also mm. pronounced sally well sally means action or burst which is what mars is and mm. man and mangal and mangal in turkish is a barbecue and a fire and in hindu mars is called mangalaya so mm. if you look at all the different languages they're all different words but they all mean the same thing yes that's the thing is when you understand the meanings of the word rather than see this is another thing i was telling someone the other day this is the problem with just people in general we're looking at how something looks and not how something functions. Mm, nice. For example, you can get two different fruits which have two different total shapes. Right. Both go by the function and the template of the torus field. So for example, an apple, right? The bottom of the apple has like this little black dot at the bottom, mm. which is mm. like the south pole. And then at mm. the top of the apple, you've got a branch coming out with a green leaf, which mm. is the north pole, which is like the aurora borealis of the apple. Because that's nice. the leaves coming out of the center. Genius. And then in a banana, it's the same. You've got a little black bit at the bottom. And then at the top, you've got the long bit. So mm. again, it doesn't matter about the shape. It's about the function and how it's working. And this is why I'm so grateful for Santos teaching us about the torus field because and this is what i tell people about like the shape mm. of the earth subject it doesn't really matter about the shape once you know the function of how a torus field works you can apply it to any material object and this yes. is what i think people really need to try and understand is quit looking at the shapes and the illusion because they're really they're just illusions kind of thing aren't they like they say this is the maya world illusion the material world it's just we've got to understand the function of things rather than the way it looks yes wow very well said um tuesday en francais is merdi merde mard mars yep. right and your your family's from cyprus you'll like this i'm doing the periodic tables so where did our period come from? Period, peace, movies, period for the women. Mars is red. Not trying to be inappropriate. Uh, in uh, the periodic tables, hydrogen pertains to the letter K. The letter K pertains to Cyprus directly. Yep, and because the in Hall Turkish, it's called Kupras. There you go. There you go. There you go. So I don't speak Turkish. I don't know your family, but now I know through syncretism, through a Taurus field of wisdom, how can I now show the public what a Taurus field is in my face? If anyone Googles right now a Taurus field, you'll see a tree, a vortex of energy, and circles. Look at my eyes. Two round circles right there shaping the eyebrow, and there's your tree, Yidrasil. And there's your circles making your head, and then you get little lines in your head sometimes. You get old. No, you're getting wiser because your tree shows you its age, but lines, you cut it, you see all the stuff it goes through to make you, you and me. And lastly, anyone who wants to see a real Taurus field, get your phone, put the phone to your computer. Everyone misses this. this is a very cheeky, awesome moment. You're gonna see a T appear, a little T vibrating and lines going up and lines going down to hell and a middle point and the four keys 
of the earth. Try that experiment because I mentioned it in my present. It blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, there's a cross showing up magnetically bending because my phone is obviously having electromagnetic waves and it's showing it through my computer. So those are great ways to find your Taurus field. Also another one, brother. Uh, when I started watching um, Santos and he was talking about the Taurus field, he explained how the yin and yang, black and white light, create the electromagnetic spectrum. Yeah. And one day, just randomly, it was a total accident, I put my torch on, on my phone, and the light, the white light, shoot, shone on the black screen of the TV that was not on, and the rainbow, the electromagnetic spectrum, came on my screen. And yes. was, to me, I was like, wow, like, a simple experiment like that, and you can just, you know, like, if, some, if you just said to someone, you know, like white light has all of the colors and it's the mediator of all the different colors. And when you, when red and, when white and black light uh, come together, they create the child Jesus, which is red and blue shift. Yeah. And people might say, oh, you're chatting shit or you're waffling. It's just a great little thing. You say, okay, yeah, put my phone on, bang, and you can just show them. Do you get what I'm saying? Like something so simple and like, I just love things like it's just it just kind of uh it solidifies the message basically you know it's true what well here's a here's another great way of of seeing what a Taurus field is and Santos has shared one of my videos because this is what I do I call it common sense truth and another thing I want to encourage anyone watching this video Mehmet and I are also unique because we go to our job and we speak truth at our job. That is what Christ would do. That is called having a career and another career of the ear. So I also promote truth at my job. And so I make many connections. Like for example, I had a Leo tell me, hey Jay, the word awful is actually pertaining to the organs of an animal. Awful is O-O-F or something else. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I was like, thank you for teaching me. And I said, hey, you want to see a tourist field? I said, come by the buffet table where I work at. I said, now look down on the silver lining. You see a little red and blue, yellow rainbow all down there? Now look up. Do you see it? No, you don't. It's called a tourist field. They were like, wow, thank you, Jay. And then secondly, I had a, uh, an individual who was um, thrown in jail, a street person who was my neighbor, who I wanted to try to help. His name was Dakota. And the first thing I showed him that got him interested in what I had to say, I said, hey, Dakota. I said, look at the, uh, the rainbow right now on the staircase reflecting through the, uh, the window. What colors do you see, bro? I see uh, purple, you know, I see green, yellow, red. I, see I said, now let's go outside, Dakota. I said, do you see it outside? He goes, no. I said, it's called a tourist field. He goes, wow. And to also add to what you just said, I had an amazing tourist field experience. I'm at a meeting for my job. There was a uh, flat screen TV, okay? We had a fan, um, a light fan, with um, fans and a light. It had four little lights around it. I was watching the, the TV screen. It was showing Mehmet perfect red and blue lines aligning with the fan and how it was reflecting the TV screen. But you couldn't see it, obviously, just talking in real life. That's how you can find them. Rainbows. Yep. Red shift, um, blue shift. It's all there, bro. We just have to, we just have to look. It's, it's just... Oh, it's just so, it's just, it's like I was thinking today at work, I was cutting avocados. Nice. And, I, and then I broke down the word, well, ava is Eve, ka yes. is the earth, so it just means Eve and earth, avocado. And also they say the avocado is good for your, like, um, the uterus of a woman, because I don't know if you know about um, uh, signatures of doctrines of signature where they say if you eat something that looks like a part of your body that's what it's good for so for example a walnut will be good for your brain a carrot will be good for your eyes and so on and so on so it's interesting like i was thinking about the word avocado but it's so i believe yeah go ahead i believe guacamole means testicle oh wow I found that out at my job, you see? And these, some of them are meat eaters. Not all meat eaters and people who don't have a brain like you and I necessarily are doom and gloom. They give you things because as a syncretist, 
we have the ability to dance with anybody. Of course, yeah. We don't pick sides. And a lot of people who do truth, they get so cocky with it, they pick a side and now I'm better at it. That's, you need to convert your neighbor because you were asleep a lot longer than you were awake. So if guacamole means my testicle, then like what you just said, avocados would help my what? Made my sperm count? Yeah. <laughs> when you say that, like about you can learn something from anyone, I swear to God that is so true. My little, co my little cousin came around one day and uh, we was like drawing on paper and doing like little drawings and stuff and I had a uh, he on the bottle of water it had ice on it. It, it it was written on the bottle of ice and he said to me uh why does uh the, the word police have ice in it and i was like wow and then i thought of pole ice the poles with ice on them and like it took a five-year-old kid to teach me that do you get what i'm saying so like you said we can like learn from anybody and anyone yes. and anything. And just to go on about police as well, like I spoke to you about this in private about how like we call police a copper, right? Or a cop. Well, copper in astrology, yep, there you go. Copper in astrology relates to Venus and Venus is the five pointed star. So again and that's what police people have on their badge so that, yeah the cop and also, also about the martial yeah. law and when you mm. get arrested it's like aries ested almost like it's got the word aries in it yes so i noticed so many of these little things yeah police is also a greek city polis yep mm. poly want a cracker the parrot mm. Now, there's something very popular with Greece and Rome. All, leads ro lead, uh, all roads lead to Rome. Is Rome means Mars. Yep. So we have to get hit because they're naming places after who? The blood people? Of course, your, your um, invisible friend. Your children are geniuses. Whenever I teach eight-year-olds in dance, I always, they're the most open-minded creatures on the planet. You know, I'm like, I'm like, hey, children, come to the computer. Hey, etymology says hippocampus in your brain. It means Neptune's chariot. What's Neptune but a star? Hey, children, where are the stars? They're up there with the sun and stuff. Now go make a dance. And they come back with like, they, one girl actually showed me how much stuff she knew. She's like, Mr. J, I wanted to add Jupiter and, and, and Mars in there and Uranus. And now I'm, I was like, and Saturn, I was like, the devil. Now, a, a child who I taught holistic dance in this house, from my own job, I, I was talking about dance. I do dance in public. I'm not ashamed of who I am at all. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're all doing we'll chat about that now. If we can absolutely. go on to that, I want to. Like, uh, can I ask you something, Jay? I'm yes, not, absolutely. Because I've seen a couple of your videos. How you? I love the way you incorporate like the planets and the chakras and everything into your teachings. Have you ever met any resistance by doing that in your? Ah, great question. <laughs> it has to deal with Santos actually too uh, how I change my dancing te my, my, my dance teaching so I'll just briefly talk about uh, how I how I woke up so I started off watching Michael Tassarion symbols and all this stuff good stuff Jordan Maxwell of course Mark Passio Freeman Fly these kinds of people Santos knows a lot of them and I recommend you all watch those people if, you, if you've ever heard of them and uh, what I got to Santos though he kept mentioning the five elements, the five elements in, in the, the ether and the dodecahedron. It forms a ball. Then I was like, damn, there are five positions in ballet. I was like, I'm going to go right now. I'll never forget it. I was living in someone's house, Mehmet. It was a woman who owned a studio. I was in the attic apartment, the studio downstairs. What did I do? I would watch Santos all night, watch all the stuff, write it down. And I went the next day when I got it all in my brain, I went right downstairs behind her back. She didn't even know, dude. She didn't even care. I said, children, I said, let's learn the five elements because you have five positions in ballet. I said, earth, water, air, fire. They memorized it like that. Now, when I showed the teacher this, she goes to me, do you think it's a little bit too much for them? Like, can they really grasp that? I said, well, I said, I said, my sister, 
you don't notice that when we had a little meeting with my dancer, but you came to watch my class to see what they know? Remember how you mentioned um, there were like five uh, questions, there were five things uh, in terms of asking them, and they said, hey, Mr. J, M Miss, Miss, her name was Ilka, she mentioned there were five uh, questions. Isn't there five points and five elements? And I said, there's your answer. They made a connection to what you were doing. What is it the, um, in the SAT scores? You have five, what, A, B, C, D, E. There's like five of them. You have to check and check, right. There you go. So I'm preparing these children for this kind of stuff. So that kind of helped me. Where I got in a little bit of a problem, never forget it. I've taught this all over America and everyone actually liked it, Mehmet, because I was smart. I didn't say too much like astrology. I said, you've got five elements and that's a fact. When you have facts and you speak scholarly, they will have to love you. Yep. If you say, I'm holistic and I want freedom and your children need to be the spirit horse, that's great. But to a Christian who calls things the devil, they're going to be afraid of you. <laughs> so... I got into a problem um, with a school here. There was a competition school. I'll never forget it. It's a school about anorexia, be skinny, right? Throw up in the bathroom, go and get the job. You know, cutthroat, get the audition, very alpha male. I come in, the first year, Mamet, she loved my five elements. She watched my video. I have a video of my stuff. So I wanted her to be clear what I do. She loved it. Now, here's where it changed. It changed because first of all, I was doing my thesis at my school and didn't have time to go and sub and teach at the school. So I left them hanging because I had to do school. And a woman scorned. The director decided at that moment, Mehmet, she goes, you know, you couldn't teach for us and you left us in a bit of a problem. And um, yeah, this whole goddess thing and the five elements, I don't think I'm feeling it anymore. And I was like, really? Why don't you ask your children how they feel? Because they love it. Well, I have a spy, though. I have a spy. This woman's crazy. This women, listen, you women, I love women. We have a feminist thing today. I know why, but you have to know your symbols, women, first. You need to go into your ancient wisdom. Now, she tells me she has her, her own daughter is a spy who was watching my class, trying to see if I'm doing things that are good or bad. And I'm like, who does this? So only one time I met. University of Iowa, they didn't watch one of my classes. You know how many classes I taught, dude, about Earth is the cube, astrology. I, two years, man, and they never once watched my class. And I taught them real science, which should have got me in trouble. <laughs> I even shared Santos's video to my entire ballet class. There were about, what, 30 students? I had them all watch his first um, Know Thyself video, and they had to do a paper on it. I'm that guy. I could have gotten in trouble for that because he's talking about the Bush family. And it's funny because I had some students even say, oh, I don't know if I agree with Santos talking about the Bush family. And I was like, that's cool. You can have. But the point is, I wanted you to see that video and to be open. So as opposed to that person saying, I'm going to snitch and say Mr. J is trying to give me devil stuff. They simply just said, well, I don't agree with that. So it's okay. You can still share occult okay. knowledge and get people to wake up. You can do it. Definitely, man. It's interesting, brother. The first time I saw you came across your work was, I think it was like a New Year's Eve when I think you was on the Sun and Moon group and you was teaching, you was telling Santos yeah. about all the different, or you were not just Santos, you was telling everyone about all the yes. different positions and how it relates to the top, like the Taurus field and whatnot. And it was, that was the first time I saw your work and I was like, wow, this is really interesting. And because it was just like you syncretized something totally different that has never been syncretized before. And that's kind of what attracted me to looking at your work and just, and then Thank obviously you. I see Santos share a couple of your videos and then that's how I've just kind of connected with you basically. Yeah. Well, no, I'm grateful for Santos for doing that. I've met a lot of great people. I've also met some demons, you know, some people in the truth community, you yeah. know, it is what it is. We have an ego problem, but I, I, I have no bitterness. I, I love myself and it's about the truth. And that's why I'm great, grateful that I'm awake. Because when you're awake, nothing can phase you. You might get a bit pissed off, but if you know thyself, you don't need anybody. So yeah, um, dance is important. Why? Who started ballet? Catherine de Medici. Now Santos has talked about the Medici family, medication. Okay. Well, what did she do? This is a female. You feminists, I love you. Slow down. 
Do we have any animal females in, in history? Yes, a lot who killed. Catherine de Medici slaughtered, I don't know, 50,000 um, Protestants or some shit like this. She was a Catholic. And then she was the first patron, not your alcohol, of Bale. Ba is Egyptian soul. Bale? No, E.T. is ether. It's the ball of the Taurus field in fifth position. Full moon, half moon. That's ballet. So, your Catherine de Medici was the first patron. Medici is Isis, E.C. Who did she marry, Mehmet? King Louis. Louis? Lou is the Druid sun god for Saturn. Hmm. King Louis was a sun god, right? He was a sun king. Sorry, sun king is Stephen King and your SK assault rifle and special K cereal. Woo! Special K is a designer drug. Now, Medici, the moon, Isis is the moon, marries King Louis, the sun king. And then ironically, Medi um, Mehmet, King Louis decides, I want to take credit for ballet. No one researches, and the woman started first with it, and then the guy, King Louis, got it. Why is it important to know that? Because King Louis was a Freemason and a Templar knight, and he went to where? Egypt. And he worked with Saladin. Your Saladin is your um, Salamani of today. That so Sol Amani has S-O-L-E in his name, people. The Pope is the sole successor of Christ in physical form. That is blasphemy. The biggest sin in Christianity and Catholicism, I don't know how they don't ask these questions, is standing in place of God. And when you see Pope Francis, you should be giving him the finger and saying, shame on you. Instead, they cross themselves. Some woman tried to grab his hand. He almost smacked her and showed his real pedophile, demonic, eh. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, Vatican means uh, serpent, right? Yeah, it means um, Vaticanus. Well, first of all, let's talk about what Vatica is. Vatica in India is an herb you smoke to open your third eye. Yep. It's marijuana or weed or cannabis. Your tikka, tikka masala, the food, the East Indians have a tikka on their third eye, the women wear. Now, remember a method man? What's that shit that they be smoking? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I love that album, great album, but he knows his shit. Tikal is weed. So Vatica is also the goddess of death. Whoa. And they're on the city of the dead. Go ahead. Well, in, in I say this in one of my bars. Well, in the UK, we pay VAT, which is value added tax. Woo! I in my bars. That's why we pay VAT to the Vatican. You know what's your psychic? I wanted I wanted us to share our bars. So I'll also Mehmet and I are artists. Anyone can do this. Uh, it's our father, Art in Heaven. He and I are working on a, a track now. And bless this man, he's written an awesome verse. He's an amazing MC. So I'll just show you. I'll just share my verse first, and then do you want to read yours later? Well, I'll read mine out because I I have great. It. Go for it, please. Okay. Well, you, do you want me to go first or you go? Absolutely. First? Go ahead. So Jay writ his verse and I've kind of just bounced off it. So, and we're basing this off astrology. So do you want me to read the verse or do you want me to read it and explain it while I'm reading it? Ooh. Read it first and then explain it. Okay. I like that. So my verse is beat banging hard, astral travel through stars. Opposites attract like Venus and Mars. Scorpio and Taurus, rhyme styles are flawless, flawless, high and mighty like Horus. Medium Coeli, I'm an MC. My words like busting cats leave you weak at the knees. Two of the best to hold the pen, DV and Zen, two plus eight equals ten. Not the goat, but I'm climbing the mountain with hope. Heading for the land with the milk and honey instead of wasting my milk on honeys. I'm earthbound through the dark rift. Words were my given gift. Moon in Taurus, fuck a chorus. Forever spray tracks like the Ouroboros. I'm rising the heart of a lion. Studio gangsters on a track lying about guns. Fifth house, Scorpio son, you're getting stung. That's my bar. Woo! Basically. But just to like pick up on a couple of 
like bars what I'm what I meant by like for example when I say my words like busting caps leave you weak at the knees. Well, caps is Capricorn, and Capricorn rules your kneecaps in your body in medical astrology. So that's what that was. And obviously, the first bar where I put um, opposites attract uh, Venus, Venus and Mars, Scorpio and Taurus. I'm talking about me and you, obviously, because you're a Taurus and I'm a Scorpio. Mm. Mm. And um, what other things? And oh yeah, where I put um, I'm high and mighty like Horus. Well, Horus is the sun at its most highest point. And mm. in the astrology chart, that's called the, the MC, which is called the Medium Caelo. So that's why I said I'm high and mighty like Horus, Medium Coeli. Yes, I'm an MC. So I'm talking about the top of the chart. But I'm talking about me being an MC as well. So they're just Wonderful. a few a little like metaphors that I've done. But yeah, that's my Wonderful. verse. For our Wonderful. Track. Yes, well, I will, uh, I, will, I will share my verse. It, uh, it deals with a lot of stuff, but I'll just keep it simple. So it goes, they call it pseudo, judo, Jupiter with the flow. French de Seuss, Zeus, Zeus, studio, aha moment. That means studio, stu, steer, sutra for your ear. Anna with grandma, Taurus weighs in the year. Saturn is corn, coronal no plane is clear. Corn rolls, eyeballs orbit over there. Locust discuss, Carulius is us. The king is a crown and a gown by Venus. No stress suggests you live in a dress. Atari logo, curved lines, three guests. Well, Trinity, Israel, and Empress. Zeus the throne, bone, Saturn born. Jovial by fish and by horse's horn. That pattern falling makes an L and J thorn. Opposing Gemini and Mercury, top born. Voucher in Book of Dead leads to unicorn. With a black box, Sagittal, crash test. I killed two balls, red bulls, blue stressed. They call it the Kaaba, built by Saturn, blessed. Kaba Cuba Cube, cuboid bone lubed. The body of Osiris is your core tube. Top of the head, medulla pyramid stewed, chopped into pieces, wearing Osiris in nude. Like, you see the bit where I just clocked a bar? You see the bit where you spoke about Jesus and you said about the fish and horse? You're obviously talking about Pisces and Sagittarius, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I didn't clock that until <laughs> I now, because. Sometimes when I'm listening to tracks with music, it's like I concentrate more on the beat. But when now you've just read it out mm. without the beat, mm. I clock that straight away. Whereas before I didn't clock that. Oh, yeah. well, thank you, man. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to recording it. And once we've recorded it, obviously we're going to share it for you guys. Yes. Well, yeah. I'll I'll simplify because a lot of things I'm saying it would take a long time to really decode yeah. everything because it's very deep. But basically, they call it pseudo, judo, martial arts, Jupiter, Judas Priest. Yep. Uh, I'm acknowledging that your pop culture came from your stars. So everything that you did back in the day is related to things today from something before and far away. Freestyle. Um, I like to mention the fact that when Jupiter spat out Athena, of Zeus from his forehead, he also fell with her. He fell from the Tropic of Cancer. Now, when I looked at the, the sort of the oh, path- Oh, wow, yeah, because Jupiter results in Cancer, yes, of course. Yeah. Right, but if you think about it, if when, when he, it's a circle, right, the, the zodiac ring, if he fell and he's in Pisces and he's in um, Sag, it makes an L or a J, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, definitely, wow. Yeah, man, that's sick. Definitely. And that's- L for Saturn, of course, that the father of, Ze of Zeus is Kronos, right? So he had to go back to his father, who's not so nice all the time. And then he had to sort of find himself in Satan's world. So this is why we can kick butt today, even in Satan's world. Satan is winning. He's supposed to or she. It's transgender. Shakti and Shiva, a Saturn, is a man and a woman body, right? So we know it's women and men that are going to have problems, obviously. So... What I like about astrology and mythology is that you got Venus, the, br the brightest star of Venus, in the Tropic of Cancer with the white positive sun. She's very busy in hell. She's exalting in Capricorn's world in Pisces. She's like, no, I'm going to make it work down here, actually, because it's problems down here. And I need to do my little sexual dance, not as a whore necessarily, but as one to understand my demons, to have compassion, convert them. That's why we must try to convert the demons. We cannot fight physically the Illuminati. They are your twin. 
They have a head, two arms, and two legs like you. The difference is your brain as a human is a bit different. Why you got mind control and MK Ultra as a CIA um, operative, your brain is unique and they like it a lot. So they don't have your brain. Are we better than them? No, but we're definitely having a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, brother, you mentioned about how a Saturn is a hermaphrodite. Well, that, cause I always try and stress this to people. You know, like people say, oh, the Mars is masculine and Venus is feminine. I say, no, they're both, both, because we live in a world of polarity. So, And also, if you look at um, the Zodiac wheel, Obviously, Mars in Scorpio is more feminine because it's water, but Mars in Aries is masculine. So they've both got their masculine and feminine polarities, even within the Zodiac wheel. So yeah. I, I always try and stress this, because a lot of people say, oh, the sun's masculine. Well, its effects are masculine, but visually it's feminine because it radiates. Mm, Radha Rani. Yeah, so like... This is what I was trying to tell someone, but they said, no, but in occultism, it's, it's a male. I know, but that's just Western occultism. Like, in the East, it's not seen that way. Like, the, I've seen pictures of the sun as a feminine goddess. So, like, we can't just be, like, one-track mind with, oh, this planet's male and this planet's masculine female. It, I think it doesn't really work like that, even with us, because... Although we have male bodies, we're not 100% male and 100% female. It's like the yin and yang symbol. It has a dot of the other one in it. But the black part has a white dot and the white part has a black dot. And for me, that symbolizes that we have both within us. Do you get what I mean? And like, yeah, that's totally. one thing that a lot of people like, I guess it's a very Saturnian way of looking at it because it's just very fixed and structured. Whereas like maybe looking at it in a different way is more of a feminine right brain, hence your intuition brain, where you look at it in more of an open-minded way. Do you get what I mean? Whereas yeah. most people just say, oh, Saturn's male and he's malefic and... Not necessarily, man. Like, to I, wanna, I wanna take time to actually acknowledge, thank you for opening the door to this. I wanna acknowledge astrologers who do readings, right? And you're about your business only. Yeah. I've seen this, I've, and I'm not judging now, but I've seen this in the truth community. The ones that wanna make a business, right? I've been hustled a bit and played with a, was a female, I won't go into it, but she hustled me a bit. And then you, I know anyway, you've told me, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't, I mean, I don't care about the drama, but it's important only for people to be, to be careful because I want to prepare people for people who are false prophets. If you're an astrologer who's playing games and you say you're the best, I've seen, I'm the best astrologer. That is not astrology. If your stars thought like they were the best, they'd all fall down and you have a black sky. They work together and they're in an order and they have perfect space between them. Space is not real, but your stars have a space, like my eyes have a space between them so they can share space to give you a damn face and a race. So astrologers, humble yourself and make sure that it syncs with anybody. That's the only astrology that makes sense. And Santos taught me this lastly, that um, in India, the sun is a female. It's Radharani. Radharani is a red woman. So it's different. For, and by the way, I can smash the gender battle and homophobia, I won't tolerate this as a dancer. Now, your pelvis in etymology, not Elvis, mic check one, two, your pelvis means a girdle in etymology. What is a girdle, Mehmet? A girdle? Yeah, it means that. Okay, I'm not even sure what a girdle means. Can you explain? Oh, a girdle, okay, I thought you knew what I, it was. I might have an idea, but go ahead and I'll tell you if I, if I was thinking the right. A girdle is female underwear. It's the sexy oh. lingerie. Okay. Okay, it's the garter belt of the queen, the guard, the Swiss guard. I speak your language, right? Who's the garter? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 the garter. Why is it important? I had a song about Zodiac. Anyone go to SoundCloud? I think, Mehmet, you have a SoundCloud, right? I do, but I don't really use it that much anymore, but I do have one, yeah. All right, well, go to Mehmet's page, whatever links he has. His music is awesome. You can find me on SoundCloud as Raw Zen, R-A-W-Z. And I have a song called Zodiac. 
It's a girdle in the sky. Look up above, man, that's the most high. Zodiac means girdle of the sky in etymology. My pelvis is a girdle. Zodiac, so we're clearly living in a female bum bum underwear symbol. <laughs> then you have the colonists coming in your girdle, raping your brain, telling you how to pray, how to eat, how to have sex, how to hunt. What? <laughs> Well, thank you, brother. I just want to say this has been such an amazing, amazing chat. And I really, yeah. really thank you for um, taking your time to talk with me. And hopefully this ain't the only, I'm sure this ain't going to be the only, only chat we'll do. I'm sure we'll connect again, brother. I'm I need to do a YouTube live with you. Uh, if I can do a Facebook with you, it's, I feel very comfortable and relaxed with you. Yep, like uh, you're very like Buddhist. You're very Zen. I love it. You don't pick sides. You're very free and it works. So you and I will do it again. And the, the last thing I want to say to people that's very important about mental health does not matter about how much crap you went through. Okay. doesn't matter how bad you might have been and your guilt. Maybe you're suicidal. You just can't let it go. And even a Santos or a Mehmet or a Razen just can't get that pain out of you. Remember, you are not your body. You are not the pain. When you go outside, every time you had either a good experience or a bad experience, where'd you sit down in a blade of grass? And the blade of grass allowed you to sit down. The blade of grass has a body of energy, yo. It has oxygen. It has a mind. It did not judge you. It didn't care if you were hurt or if you were happy. It said, go ahead and sit down and talk about it. That's what you are. Because your cortex in your brain is the bark of a tree. And the tree, even on a bad day of chemtrails, my man, the birds fly in chemtrails and aluminum. The trees are getting sick, sure, but they're gonna still be there longer than us today if we don't get it right, because we are very self-destructive to nature. I, I encourage everyone, go and talk to your trees, go outside in the grass and just shh, and that is who you are. And look at all the growth. If, if the grass and the tree mimet thought like you and me, Democrat, Republican, and if the atom, right, electric magnetic said, no, I don't like you, you and I wouldn't exist and we'd all be dead. Yep. Definitely. Oh, that's that's a, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Just before we uh, sign off, Baba, let people know where they can find your work on uh, yes. social media. If you have like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or any other platforms, or even if you've got any other up and coming projects or if you're working on anything, just before we sign out. Yes, thank you very much for that. I'm on YouTube under R-A-W space Z-E-N. I'm now decoding all of the periodic table. And it's, I'm having a lot of aha moments. I've done all 88 constellations. I've done all the body parts. I have playlists. Everyone can go there. Uh, my Instagram is rawzen, R-A-W-Z-E-N 617. And on Facebook, I'm J-H-E-R-U-S-S-E-L-L. -S I'm on Twitter as J-H-E-R-U-S-S-E-L-L. -S -S -E and I'm on SoundCloud as Raw Zen and Patreon. I believe I'm on Patreon as either Raw Zen or J.H.E. Russell. Cool, brother. Like I said, once again, thank you very much for um, taking your time to talk with us. And we'll be definitely talking again at some point. Peace out, yes, brother. Sir. Thank, thank you, too. Hare Krishna to you, man. <laughs>